Let's do this. Rocket Ross here again. Uh, today I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on having a faster preview box in Sony Vegas. Um, so we'll just go into Sony Vegas now. Um, so what have you, when um, placing a video in Sony Vegas and you click, you know, play to watch what you've been edited in so far, you'll see that the preview box, you know, it does seem to go really slow sometimes. I mean, I've uh, designated quite a lot of RAM to my preview, so it's, you know, it's better, which you can do by um, just going up to options and then preferences, and then on the video tab, um, just putting in like, well, depending on how much RAM you have spare, I just put mine to 1200, so... You know, it does give you a better preview, um, but the main thing that you're gonna find it's still a bit choppy when actually you know playing the preview what you've edited. Um, so the way to get around this is um, and a, a program which um, I think it was Universal Effects. I'll give him the credit for this. He found uh, which seems to work really well. So I'm going to put a link in the description for the program that we've used. Um, the actual program is um, three DVD. Free, sorry, free video to DVD converter 1.6, and this basically converts any of your videos, whether it's in you know AV, MPG, or whatever, into a file called POV, P O V, and this video in Sony Vegas does not lag at all, or hardly, depending on your computer. So this is the like um, software that you'll come up with when you received it. So basically, it's simple as selecting browse. Wait a couple of seconds. And then obviously just selecting whichever video you want. I'll just grab this one here, two knife throw, and click open. And then what you want to do is select an output folder. You can leave it as the standard one that it is, but I like to put mine in the Pacific folder that I've uh, made here, converted videos for Vegas. Um, so you set the output folder, and these are the settings here at the bottom that you want to leave it on. And then basically just click create DVD. And it'll start off, um, you know, rendering the video, not rendering, converting the video to POV. So what you need to do next is just go to your Explorer and just go to videos where I've saved it and it's under here converted uh, videos for YouTube. Just wait a second. So yeah it's this one at the top here. Um, so sometimes it won't actually come up in the Explorer tab in Sony Vegas so what you need to do is just simply drag it in like, oh, is just drag it in like that and set it down. I'll leave it there because I've already dragged it in. So now you can see on the preview box here, I'll just turn the sound off. Uh, if you watch the preview box now, there you go, there's hardly no lag at all when previewing your video. So even when you've edited it, you know, and cut it down, you're still going to get no lag. So it's so much easier to preview when you're using this POV file. And um, what I'd suggest to stop it lagging as well is. Uh, feel free to you know untick the maintain aspect ratio and crop it to the right size but in regards to the video effects that you may be adding on which I would do like the um, levels or saturation adjust anything like that uh, just leave it right till the end because uh, that will stop it working as well but the way you can do it at the end if you just go to levels and say I want to add this one here custom HQ just add it to the bar not the video add it to the bar and that will do it for all the um, video sections that you have in this bar so that's levels, and let's just say I want to add on some saturation adjust. Just grab my custom one here, add it to the bar. You can see on the preview box it should change. There we go, much more color here. So there you go, guys. It's a simple tutorial just showing you how to stop the uh, preview box um, lagging in Sony Vegas. I'm still maintaining um, a really high quality using the POV file. Um, any questions, just send me a message or leave a comment. And that's it for today, guys. Cheers.